Expectations can be poisonous. They are a rabbit hole of exponentially increasing desire. The longer something takes to create, the more expectations will build until it spirals into something that nobody has any control over. We become so caught up in how something might meet or exceed our expectations that we begin to lose what that creation is, what it's trying to do. Art is often an exchange between creator and connoisseur. While it is perfectly acceptable for artists to not share their creations with anyone, they often do so anyway. The first time is always quaint. Bewilderment, fascination, adoration. The artist has gained a patron, one who eagerly awaits new creations. As this relationship develops, a pressure begins to build. There is a desire within the artist to keep improving their skills, to make pieces that transcend what they've previously made. As the artist seeks growth, so too does the patron. Their obsession with the work, growing. Their desire to feel that same sense of wonder again, building. The need to outdo the previous work spirals out of control. The artist takes longer to make something. They stress about the smallest details. They begin to wonder how they even made it this far, to begin with. What is their artistic voice, again? What is their style? Are they making anything truly worthwhile? The connoisseur grows more and more impatient, and with that impatient comes a more hypercritical mindset. They study every little blemish, eager to inform the artist that this piece is not as spectacular as the last, as their expectations grow into something that no one could possibly ever meet. Maybe the artist isn't even interested in meeting those expectations anymore. Maybe they want to do something different. Maybe they're at odds with what they want to achieve. But the patron doesn't care. They want what they want. They want the piece they dreamed up in their head. And if they don't get it, they're going to be very disappointed. The cycle continues and continues and continues until something finally snaps. Hall Night Silk Song has been in development for so long now, and Team Cherry has been so quiet about its development that it's genuinely concerning, not only for the health of the game, but for their health. Hall Night is a $15 game with more polish than 99% of games out there, and not counting the composer, it was made by three people. It's been a while since Silk Song's reveal, and although I understand why there is so much hype behind it, it's hard to not feel a little bad for Team Cherry. I actively try not to get my hopes up for games anymore. It's always better to be pleasantly surprised than have your hype be dashed to pieces. And yet, here I am, cautiously thrilled to explore a new Hollow Knight content with what looks to be per a perfectly translated boss moveset into one opponent can control. I wonder if Team Cherry is intentionally staying silent in order to not drive expectations too high and not cause immense disappointment in the situation where the community doesn't get what they wish for. Who knows? There is a lot of pressure when you're attempting to follow up something that is beloved by so many people, and Team Cherry wants to get it right. They want to make something that they're truly proud of. Team Cherry is no doubt doing everything that they can to make the game what they want it to be. Don't hold the weight against the artist for it is not worth it. I ask you to be wary of what you expect and what you wish for. You know what they say, expectations are the thief of joy. <laughs>